Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is April. Today's video is going to be about pan that palette. It's, I'm going to be combining the tiny pans and pan those eyeshadows together, I think. Um, if you're new to my channel, please consider liking, subscribing. Please consider liking and subscribing to follow along on my journey. And if nothing else, just leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. And if you're painting a palette this year. I am feeling a little bit scatterbrained right now. <laughs> I'm feeling a lot of bit scatterbrained right now. It's been, I don't know. I'm just like, blah. Everything is just kind of everywhere, physically, mentally. So please allow me the freedom to kind of change how I approach this throughout the year. I just wanted to get something down. And then I thought, well, if I get it down and I get it started and it's not quite right, I can change it. Because I just, I, I was trying to like add so many things going around in my brain and it was like circles. So here I am. I'm going to start it this way. I, I saw two panning, pan that palette projects that really, really interested me this year. And that was the tiny pans, pan that palette and the pan those eyeshadows that's been going around for a couple years. If any of you guys have followed my channel I have been painting the VZ Art Cool Mattes Eyeshadow Palette 07 for two years now, and it's still not done. I would say it's probably a third of the way done. Um, so it is going to go into retirement this year just because it is getting old. I am moving on from that project regardless, <laughs> and I wanted to start something new. So the Tiny Pans project really sparked my interest because I have this little Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions palette and I have made pretty good progress over the years on it. I do reach for this quite a bit. I like the coloring. I like the coloring for me on this palette. This is a very wearable kind of neutral nude palette for me for the most part. And there is some progress in there. So this was having something, having a palette that was a little more like feasible that I could actually probably finish this up in a year sounded really really good just because I mean I have been like I really enjoy doing the VZ Art palette but there's no way I mean that would take me years years to finish so I'm gonna start with this one I will swatch it out for you all right let's switch the Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions palette I don't believe these have any names to go with them I think I've looked before just start at the top here I have used this palette quite a bit already um, and I've had good experience with it. I love these creamy shimmers. Um, sorry, that one might have a little bit of... I'm trying to build it up. It might be getting a little bit dry, which is another reason I wanted to use this palette because I was kind of afraid of that. This one is another one that I felt has, was a little lackluster for me. Um, and then this pink I love. I reach for this one a lot. And then this dark. had good luck with this. I think these two I've actually used quite a bit. This is just kind of a regular what you would expect cream. And lastly I have this kind of reddish shade and this is definitely going to be my least favorite. Um, I don't even, I'm not sure about the formula of it. Like I've had trouble with the formula. I don't know if you can see how it's kind of uneven. So I didn't mean to swatch that so big, but uh, you can see what I mean. It's kind of a weird, if I get close, maybe. Yeah, so I don't know. That one might be something I, I struggle with. And I also, I, you know, I really don't care this much for this one. And I'm using it a similar shade in my VZ Art palette right now, so I might, um, I'll, I'll have to play with that, but. 
So this is going to be the palette that I am working on throughout the year. This is kind of going to be my neutral palette. Like I said, I can pretty much reach for this at any time. Um, there are a couple shadows that, you know, might throw me some curveballs, but I'm going to get to all that as the year progresses. So for now, I just wanted to start with this, put it out there that this is what I'm going with. And this is my introduction for this. So then I, I saw the, the pan those eyeshadows. So I've been following some people on the Pan Those Eyeshadows project and I, so I've been following some people on the Pan Those Eyeshadows project over the years and it just looks so much fun. I've hesitated to do it because I kind of have a little bit of my own things going on and then um, I was trying to figure out how to make it work and so for the time being I decided well maybe I could combine these two into one video and if it works if it continues to work well that way then I'll keep it there if it doesn't then I'll I'll change it up because I was I don't have like um because like I said I'm just trying to kind of figure everything out I just put everything in a random number generator and did it that way I um, so I've already got my shadows picked. I might change that up, like I said, throughout the year, but I just went, wanted to get something down. Let me say that again. <laughs> so the first palette that randomly number generated was my, just a, just a Z palette that I have with some single shadows. There's a mix of things in here. These four are actually headed to the declutter bin just because of age reasons. But the first one that I picked was this palette and the number four. So it is this shade here, which is Anastasia Beverly, Beverly, Anastasia Beverly Hills in blushing. I'm going to swatch these a little bit closer. There's kind of no point in me doing it way back here. Okay. It's going to be a little harder for me to swatch these, but this is my... Um, this one is really hard to swatch. It has very little color payoff, but I do actually like it. I'm, I probably mentioned it already, but that was weird. Um, I like it as sort of like a blending transition type shade. So, I mean, can you see it at all? It's a little, a little crumbly. But see it on my finger it's even really hard it's just a really hard shade to like even build up if you have any ideas for what to do with it um let me know I think it would be like a cool like even a face highlight almost and then the next palette that it I randomly number generated was this mac palette and I randomly number generated number three, which is here. And it is this wonderful lime green. I'm a little bit nervous about this one just because this isn't a, a color that really goes super well with my coloring. I am a little bit olive in my coloring, I, th I think. And sometimes greens really kind of clash and they bring out like a sickly look to me. So I have to, I have to play with greens a little bit. Um, so yeah, I'm a little bit nervous about that one. This is going to be MAC Shock Factor. Really not that excited about this. To be... Man, I am. I don't know what I'm doing there. I'm making all the crumbles. Um, anyways. So yeah. I'll find something to do with it, but this is definitely a, a different kind of color to use 20 times. That's good. That's kind of a lot. Then the next palette was my JP, my Juvia's Place Deuce palette. And this is a shadow that I actually really like. It picked shadow number five, Custard. So I do really like that one. Well, actually, I like the color. I don't know that I've actually used the shadow. I typically like Juvia's Place formula, though, so I don't see any issues with it. Now, this one I, I don't think would be a challenge for me. Um, this kind of... That's kind of up my alley as far as colors go. That is Custard from the Juvia's Place Deuce palette. The next palette that it caught up was this one. I've, I've been thinking of decluttering this one. Um, 
I like the color scheme in this palette a lot. I just, the formula didn't really wow me. Um, but it caught out this one in Queen. So I will get another feel for this palette before it gets decluttered. Or, you know, I might decide to keep it because of this. This is from the Butter London. I got this in a boxy charm. And which one was it? Queen. This is definitely a shade that I would wear. I won't have it. I shouldn't have any trouble with that one. Um, project. And then lastly, it called out a new palette that I've just purchased over Christmas. And this one is the Ofra palette in the Signature Luke's palette. I really, really, really like this palette. I've had really good luck with the Ofra formula so far. Um, the color that it picked was number three. Let's see. And that is this baked middle one. Uh, yeah. So just a pretty gold. Oh, and then this one should be, this one probably will be, other than the ABH one, this one will be just probably just equally as easy, as long as I like it. Um, I've never used one of the Ofra baked shadows. I've used this formula for the highlight, which I could always use it as a highlighter, but I'm preferring to use these as shadows. So there we go. I mean, honestly, it's not a bad palette um, color scheme. It's maybe, it's definitely more spring for me, but I, I, I think it can, I think it can look good. I'm seeing things. I'm seeing possibilities. I really like the, um, I really like the color scheme of this palette. It's not necessarily what I would have picked for January, but I do actually think the colors go pretty well together. I mean, give or take a few things, I would probably add in like a deepening shade. Um, I, you know, I would change it up a little bit, but... I am pretty happy with this. ABH Blushing is a really good shadow that you can kind of use as a transition shade. It doesn't have a lot of pigmentation on its own, so that, that looks um, fun. I actually have a lot of use on that one already. It's something that I've I've used and incorporated in for the last couple years. It went well with my VZ Art Cool Mattes palette. Yeah, so I'm really looking forward to this. I think um, as far as the rules and stuff for me go, I'm guessing I'm just going to follow along with the 20 uses or hit pan and then I can roll the shadow out. Um, is there anything else? Yeah, I don't really know. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm very frazzled. So I don't think I mentioned at the beginning, um, the tiny pans was from the panning ladies and I will put all of that down below. And then my inspiration for this was mainly from Alex from Alejandro Lisette, I think is correct. I will put her down below as well. And yeah, Thank you guys so much for stopping by, hanging out. Like I said, let me know down below in the comments if you're doing project panning this year and specifically if you're gonna do either tiny pans or pan those eyeshadows and specifically how you're approaching painting your palette if you're not doing one of those. All right, stay tuned for the next one and we will see what happens with these projects getting off the ground and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.